Hey, hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how to build a different kind of task manager based on priority. But first, let me tell you how this template works. This is our main database. And this template works by four systems. Red flag, orange alert, yellow notice, and green safe. And also, this main database divided by two parts. The first one is incompleted task, where you'll find all of your incomplete tasks. And then, complete tasks. Under the completed task view, you'll find all of your completed tasks. And this four system already explained. The first one is red flag, which means if any of your task is important, but the due date is today or overdue, it needs to be done immediately. And then, here is the orange alert. Orange alert represents if the task is important and the due date is within next two days, we should put some attention on it. And then, here is the yellow notice. If any of your task is not important but the due date is today or overdue, it should be done today but maybe later at the day. And then green save, the most low priority task. If the task is not important and the due date is not soon, it can be done anytime you want. So that's how this template works. However, if you are not willing to build this template on your own, you will find this template link in the description. However, if you are not willing to build this template on your own, you will find this template link in the description. All I'm asking for you to subscribe and hit the like button as favor. And I'm thanking to my all existing subscribers to motivate me to help me to create more free template and tutorial. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive into the main tutorial. Alright, so the very first thing that we are going to do is take a new page and name it as Task Manager Priority. And we need the wide space to work on this dashboard. So for that, click on three dot and here we are going to turn on the full width. So now we have entire screen view. Alright, so the very first thing that we are going to do is create our main database. So click on slash and then database. We are going to choose database in line. And of course, new table view. So we have to name our title. I'm going to write it as Task Manager and let's hide this database title. So then first thing is task name. So I'm going to name it as task name also going to choose an icon from here add icon icon i'm going to choose this one of course default color so then we need another property click on plus and then date property we are going to write it as due date and then we need another property click on plus checkbox and import then we need another property click on plus checkbox property and done so that's all property we need now so then we are going to table view name as incomplete task and then we are going to choose an icon from here of course i'm going to choose a blank circle and then i'm just going to duplicate this name it as completed task completed task and we are going to also change the icon from here i'm going to choose the fill circle so under the incompleted view we'll find all of our incompleted tasks so for that we need to create a filter from here and of course done property it has to be unchecked perfect and in the completed task we are going to also create a filter done and it has to be checked so our main dashboard is ready all we need now create few more demo tasks now our demo task is ready to create the main system so for that click on plus and we are going to choose the formula property and name it as system we are also going to change the icon from here i'm going to choose an setting icon all right now it's time to write down the formula first thing i'll do it write down the formula and then i'll explain for your ease all right here is our formula now let me explain if the due date is empty the system will show us unassigned deadline if the task is important and the due date is today or over due date the system will show us red flag and here if the task is important and the due date is over within two days the system will show us orange alert and if the task is not important and the due date is today or overdue it will show us yellow notice and finally green notice which is represent the task is not important nor soon so hope you understand but do not worry if you don't understand the formula system simply download this template from the description and of course still if you didn't hit the subscribe button subscribe let's click on save so then let's drag the system to the very left corner now our system is completely ready all you have to do is now create different section the first thing we are going to do is take two different columns so for that click on slash and then two here you can see two column the first column represent dead flag and here in the second column that represent orange alert so here we are going to put a divider and then click on slash database we are going to choose table view and select the existing task manager of course in completed task perfect so we don't need the important property here i'm just going to hide this in view and turn let's make it small i think good enough all right and also need to change the setting system so i'm going to write it task table view Let's change the icon from here. Uh, we are going to choose this one, circle icon. Perfect. And still, we can see all the system here. I think there is a mistake. I need to change the date to 2nd February. All right. So we want this section only represent the date flag, right? So for that, click on filter and add filter also. So I'm going to choose the system setting and write red flag. Save. And then we are going to create another view. So click on duplicate. Name it as task list view list view sorry list view 
all right you need to change the view click on three tier layout and we're going to choose the list view from here and i think we need to create a property so for that click on plus and then button property button here and let's name it as complete edit automation new action and edit property you are going to choose done check save so from now on once you click the complete button the done property will be auto filled the reason to create the system for list view so click on three dot and here is the properties unhide the system and complete property is done and in the orange alert we are going to follow the same system but instead of create this i'm just going to duplicate this so click on six dot and here we can see the duplicate all right let's tag it to the orange alert but i think we need divider here so click on slash divider all right but still you can see the system working on dead flag so we need to change it to the orange alert so for that click on system and write it orange sorry orange alert alert perfect and here we are going to write down our yellow notice i think we need a space here so let's take another space and let's drag this to the yellow notice and we need to change the settings so red flag to yellow notice but still you can see the system working on red flag so we need to change the settings system setting red flag to yellow notice yellow notice perfect and there is a divider we need so click on enter slash divider all right one more section is still left is green shape right so here is our green shape we need a divider same thing let's just duplicate this and drag this database to the green shape and here we need to change the system so here we are going to write green shape sorry shape all right and this filter only set on table view so we need to change the system also in the list view so here we can see it's still red flag we need to change the system filter to the yellow notice and same system for all the sections so task list view here is the system let's write green stuff all right so here is our task priority manager hope now you can build on your own and thank you for your time thank you for watching this video if you want to learn something new learn a new template let me know in the comment section so what else see you in the next video bye bye